Hello, my name is Cynthia and welcome to my channel, Graciously Growing. This channel is about two things that I love and that is growing plants and growing in the Word of God. today's video I am going to take you along as I go plant shopping in two of the big box stores that is in my area and that is Home Depot and Lowe's so let's go plant shopping ferns i have had difficulty growing ferns and actually my last one didn't make it but i may try again after doing a little bit more research on what they need but these ferns are absolutely beautiful actually have this pepperonia in my collection and I am pleased to say that it is thriving. It took a while for me to learn how to take care of this type of plant.
been looking at this nap this for so long but i haven't purchased it yet but i really do think it's beautiful This was my first time seeing this particular grower Bella but I love their plants and also the cover pots that they came in so I hope Home Depot continues to carry this brand. Oh my goodness, you guys, this Agonema Golden Madonna was so beautiful. I have never seen her in such a large size and I wanted nothing more than to bring her home. However, she was way out of my price range. Now, I've never seen this particular plant before. I don't know anything about her, but the variegation on her leaves were absolutely gorgeous. And she was another bigger size plant. And I thought that her price was pretty reasonable considering her size. And look at these uh, Calathea peacocks. Again, such a big size. And their leaves were absolutely gorgeous. They had three of them and uh, their price range, considering the size of this Calathea peacock, I thought was very reasonable as well.
So I did not find anything in Lowe's, but I uh, think that Home Depot got in a new shipment um, because they had so many different variety of plants to choose from. They also had a new grower, at least I've never seen this particular uh, grower in Home Depot and it was called Bella Plants and their plants were beautiful, as well as the cover pots that they were uh, providing um, when you purchase those plants. So I did uh, purchase three plants and I'm gonna share them with you. The first plant that I purchased was a Pothos Marble Queen. Now, um, I have quite a few Pothos in my collection. I have a Pothos Bell Speckled Gray, I have a neon pothos, a golden pothos, I have a Cebu blue pothos, and a pearl and jade. But I did not have in my collection a marble queen pothos, and I just love the variegation on uh, her leaves and thought that she would be a great uh, addition to my collection. I also like the pots that the plants by Bella grower came in um, look at this uh, it's ceramic and it's just really a beautiful uh, cover pot uh, for this plant I next bought a Florida Beauty now as soon as I saw her I was drawn by the designs on her leaves they're just so beautiful um, I have never seen this type of plant before um, and again this was from the grower called Bella and they just had different plants in you know that I have not seen in my area before and this was just one of them it's so beautiful I also like the cover pot look at this isn't it gorgeous it's so cute it has the eyes the nose and the mouth I thought that was just neat and it you know it came with the plant so 
that was the second plant I purchased. Now, the last plant that I purchased, um, according to the label, it is a uh, Algonema Silver Queen. But to be honest, it looks like it is a Algonema Cutlass uh, to me because I do have the Algonema Cutlass. Um, when I put them uh, side by side, they really do kind of look the same. Um, but then when there are some differences and I'm going to try to show you them side by side and you tell me what you think. So this is my Algonema Cutlass. She is a pretty big one. And um, her leaves are, um, I would say just really uh, more of a narrow type of leaf. Um, here's a good two to show you of how she looks. Now, when I purchased this, they said that this was an Agonema Cutlass. Now, if I then show you what I just purchased, the Algonema Silver Queen, um, they do look really, really uh, similar with their leaves. Um, however, I can tell you in person, the Algonema Cutlass leaves seem to be lighter, uh, lighter coloring, and they are a little more narrow than the Algonema uh, Silver Queen. I'm also going to put a picture of both of them on the uh, on the screen and then you tell me can you tell the difference but these plants are pretty close um, but according to their um, their tags there are two different type of aglonemas so that is the end of today's video I hope you enjoyed uh, going plant shopping with me and until the next time be blessed <music>